Good day grade 9 learners and welcome to Tumamina Teaching. You are tuned into your fourth lesson of grade 9 EMS. In the previous lesson we looked at the accounting equation. Today we'll be looking at cash payments journals and cash receipts journals, specifically looking at the trading business. But first let's do some revision. Can you remember how the CPJ and the CRJ differs from the trading business and from the service business? Remember we looked at this in grade 8, so let's have a look. We will first look at the CRJ or the cash receipts journal. All the money that the business receives is recorded on the CRJ. There will be a sales column in the CRJ of the trading business as well as a cost of sales. Cost of sales are the cost price of the trading stock that has been sold. Next we will look at the cash payments journal or the CPJ. Now the CPJ is recorded when the money leaves the business or when the business pays for something. This is recorded on the CPJ or the cash payments journal. Now remember this is bought meaning money leaves the business. So there will be a trading stock column added to the CPJ of a trading business. Alright grade 9 learners, remember Kamva from Ikasi Kofu company. In short, IKC. His business has grown in the meantime. In fact, he's even bought a building and is renting a part of it to someone else. Now we'll be looking at the business as an example for this lesson. We are going to record the following transactions. Number one, cash receipts journals. And number two, cash payments journal for Ikasi Kofu company for March 2021. So let's look at the first example for IKC. IKC bought a vehicle from Baron Motors via EFT number 34 for 280,000 Rand. Alright grade 9s, remember we have to first evaluate and break down the sentence. In this case, IKC bought. So in this case, money is leaving the business. So is it a CRJ or CPJ? Correct, it's the CPJ. Now the second thing we have to note is that the method of payment is EFT number 34 and the payment was for 280,000 Rand. First, we will enter the EFT number in the first column. Then the day, which is the 1st of March. Thirdly, we will record the name of the person or business we have paid. This amount should also be recorded in the bank column. If there is no column for the account, in this case the vehicles, it should be recorded in the sundry accounts column. So the sundry accounts column is very important. This is where we put the unlisted transactions within the sundry accounts column. Let's look at a more difficult example. Cash sales according to cash register roll number 5 amounted to 8,000 Rand. IKC uses a markup of 100% on cost. Alright, let's first evaluate and break down the transaction. So it is a cash sale. What does that mean? The business will be receiving money. So if the money is being received by a business, is that recorded on the CPJ or on the CRJ? Correct, that's the CRJ. Now, another reason why it's on the CRJ is because it's a cash register roll number five. This will be recorded on the CRJ. So before we can record the following transaction, we should remember with every sales transaction, we must calculate the cost of sales. If you're watching this in class and you know what to do next, put your hand up and share with the class what to do. Remember the cost price plus the profit equals to selling price. Cost price is always a hundred percent. In this specific example, the profit markup is also a hundred percent, which means the selling price percentage is 200%. The profit markup can vary from business to business. In this case, the cost price is unknown and the selling price is 8,000 Rand. The formula is the unknown divided by the known, which is 8,000 Rand times 100 divided by 200 Rand, which equals to 4,000 Rand. The cost price is 4,000 Rand. Alright, let's fill in the cash receipts journal behind me. As per usual, you should first record the document and the date. The details will be cash because we received these sales in the form of cash. The 8,000 Rand, which is the money the business received, should be recorded in the analysis of the receipt and the bank column. 
We should then record the 8,000 Rand in the sales column and the 4,000 Rand, which is the calculated answer in the cost of sales column. All right, grade nines, before we move on, let's quickly stop for 30 seconds and look at the CRJ behind me and reflect on why the CRJ is filled in that way. Let's move on to the next transaction. So in this case, the owner of the business, Kamva Makeba, deposited 25,000 Rand as capital contribution into the current bank account of the business. The receipt is number 23, and this is recorded on the transaction. All right, grade nine learners, let's stop, evaluate, and break down the transaction. The owner in this case, Kamva Makebe, has made a deposit. Now, a deposit is money coming into the business. Is this a CPJ or a CRJ? Correct, it's a CRJ. Now, the owner has made a capital contribution directly into the business, meaning it's a cash payment received by the business. All right, let's get the CRJ behind me. We will record the receipt number, date, and the details. It is important to remember that you will not record anything in the analysis of the receipt column as Canva deposited the money directly into the bank account of the business. If the business does not have a column for capital, it should be recorded in the sundry accounts column. All right, grade nines, let's move on to the next transaction. On the 7th of March, the IKC received 6,000 Rand from their tenant, A. Aris, for rent income. Now, let's stop, evaluate, and break down the transaction. So, the business receives money for the rent income. Is this the CPJ or the CRJ? Yes, it is the CRJ because the money is received by the business. Let's look at the CRJ behind me. The day is the 7th. Then you should record the name of the tenant. The amount should be recorded in the analysis of receipts, bank and sundry accounts columns. Let's look at the next transaction. On the 8th, the IKC bought coffee beans from Mel stores for 2,400 Rand, paid via EFT. So grade nines, let's stop, evaluate, and break down the transaction. The business bought coffee beans, so there's money leaving the business. Is this recorded on the CPJ or the CRJ? Yes, it's the CPJ because money is leaving the business. Now, the second thing we should note is that the money is paid via EFT. That's the method of transaction. All right, now let's look at this transaction behind me. By this time, I hope you can already record the document, the day, the details, and the bank column. So what should we do with the coffee beans? Coffee beans will be the IKC's trading stock, as Gamva will need coffee beans to make the coffee for his clients. So the 2,400 Rand should also be recorded in the trading stock column. So grade nines, let's stop and reflect on the cash receipts journal behind me. All right, grade nines, let's look at the last transaction. On the 12th, the cost of sales amounted to 7,000 Rand. Cash register roll number six was recorded. Remember, Ikasu Kofu company uses a markup of 100% on cost. Let's look at this example and identify the next step. If you're watching this in class, put your hand up and let us know what is the next step you'll be taking. All right, first we have to calculate the selling price of the transaction. The unknown is the selling price. So we will calculate as follows. The 7,000 Rand times 200 Rand divided by 100 Rand. That equals to 14,000 Rand. All right, so let's look at the cash receipts journal behind me. Yes, you are correct. The document number is CRR6. The date is the 12th. You can write either cash or sales or both in the detail column. You have to record the 12,000 Rand in the analysis of receipt, bank, and sales column, and then remember to record the 7,000 Rand in the cost of sales column. Well done. I hope you understand the CPJ and the CRJ for trading businesses. All right, grade nine learners, that marks the end of this lesson. But before we continue, let's summarize on each transaction. Now, for each transaction, we know that we have to stop, evaluate, and break down each question. So when a business buys or the business has bought something, money is leaving the business. This is recorded on the cash payments journal, the CPJ. Now with the cash payments journal, all you need to realize is that you have to place the numbers and the reasons on the right columns. In the CRJ, this is money 
received by the business. When money comes into the business, this is recorded on the CRJ. Now, this is very important because in cash sales, which means when a business is selling a product or a service, money comes in and this should be recorded. Now, in many of the cases that we looked at, we had to look at the grid. This is because we had to calculate the cost of sales, but also most importantly, the selling price. This was after we were given the cost markup percentage. Now remember grade nines, doing the calculation is very, very important. And, and as important, putting everything on the correct columns. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one.